Welcome to Wearviews. Before we start with the video, please provide your feedback in the comments below, and if you like to see more of these videos, please subscribe. We are going to start talking about the types of men's underwear available on the market. Buying underwear is one of the most personal decisions in menswear. A lot of men don't care much about their underwear. When they are young, their parents will buy them, and as we grow up many have their partners buy them on their behalf. Since most of us wear underwear every day, comfort is key. However, most men prefer to wear one kind of underwear because they don't bother spending time on trying different types and see what is good. I believe that you are the type that cares, and that is why you are watching this video. We at Wearviews have reviewed a lot of underwear and hopefully give you all insights on what may work for you. Currently on the market there are a bunch of underwear styles, and these styles are great for different situations. We are going to go through a few of these types and provide you more insight on what is best to wear. Let's start off with boxers. Boxer shorts are loose and offer very little support. They typically come with an elastic waistband and a button fly and straight leg openings with a short inseam. Boxer shorts are good because they are loose and lots of room for air, hard wearing, usually made of out of cotton, and good for sleeping. This sounds good, however there is downsides to boxer shorts. They tend to bunch up underneath your pants and too much fabric for skinny jeans or short length shorts. They are also not very supportive for any type of sports. I personally find boxer shorts are great for lounging around at home and used as sleepwear. It's great when you don't need support and no pressure feeling is great. However, if you are not used to your package bouncing around and rubbing against a fabric, you may encounter unintended reactions to the rubbing. So be careful. Briefs typically have an elastic waistband with minimal to no coverage in the legs. There are very classic briefs where they offer a Y-shaped fly in the front and have enough fabric to have full coverage from the weights to the top of the thigh with complete coverage of the butt. Nowadays, briefs have evolved a bit and offer less fabric as certain areas like the hip brief. Briefs are great if you wear skinny jeans or when you need to sit a lot. Plus, there is no bunching up of material. Briefs also have a very old-fashioned look. It also reminds many of us of the tidy whites when you are young. Personally, I have stopped wearing briefs for many years, however it doesn't mean it's not good. A lot of men still choose briefs because they end in the natural crease between the leg and body, and it feels good. Boxer briefs is a combination of the best of both types of underwear. They are cut like a tapered boxer with the snug and supportive briefs. The biggest difference between boxer briefs and trunks is the length of the inseam. The inseam with boxer briefs range from 5.5 inches to 6.5 inches, mostly averaging 6 inches in length. This type of underwear is great because it's the best of both worlds. Works under any pants and supportive for sports. You are now looking at a pair of trunks. Trunks are typically shorter in the legs which average about 3 inches in the inseam. The design provides form-fitting coverage for the midsection from the waist to the thighs and are worn on the waist. They are usually designed with either a keyhole fly, button front, pouch, or no fly at all. Some also have stitching on the rear to outline the buttocks and avoid a central seam. They also give less concealment from penal protrusion during an erection. The two pairs of boxer briefs you just saw have a pouch design, and this type of design has become very common in men's underwear in the past few years. If you sit a lot, briefs would tend to be better as the boxer briefs could ride up. We wear both the trunks and the briefs so that you can see the difference in the cuts and where you get coverage. You can see from this view, the briefs cut perfectly sits between your boys and your thigh. The trunks however coverage the full area. The butt area is well coveraged by the briefs, however I have experienced some briefs that the back is too loose and it will right over to the butt crack. The jockstrap. 
can also be known as a jock, strap, cup, supporter, or athletic supporter is an undergarment for protecting the teasts and penis during contact sports or other physical activity. The jock strap consists of a waistband with a support pouch for the boys and two elastic straps attached to the base of the pouch and to the left and right sides of the waistband at the hip. To be fully protective, you should be putting a hard cup to protect the boys when doing intensive activities. You can also see the straps are designed to support your butt locks. We are going to put the jock straps over the trunks so that you can see the difference between the two pairs of underwear. You definitely notice the jock straps don't have much to hide. The jock straps are also lower in the waistline and only covers your boys. We are going to do a turn around while we move our legs to show you how the straps support your body. Hopefully this gives you some understanding of jock straps. There are a lot of other underwear styles like thongs, G-strings, C-strings, long boxer briefs, all in one bodies. Unfortunately, we do not own all the unique types to show you. We have already shown you the most commonly worn underwear by men. Hopefully, this helps you make a personal decision when you decide to buy your own underwear. If you are interested in the underwear we just shown you in this video, you can visit our site to read our reviews on them. Your comments is critical to help us improve our videos and is welcome. Visit our site for many honest reviews of men's underwear with nothing to hide. Follow and like us on Facebook or Instagram to get up-to-date reviews from our team. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to get up-to-date videos that complement our reviews. See you again next time.